Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Season 6 NRSL Views Orlando Cup Series race number 20 here at Thornton. This is probably one of the biggest races we are ever going to have here in total. This race will mean a lot to so many drivers, but for five drivers, they do not have to worry about it. We'll document everything about the points and everything heading into this race in just a moment. Let's get to your starting lineup. Ian Dutta on the pole for today's race starting next to him. Spillman, third Trent Dunham, fourth Zach Rogers, fifth RJ Bishop, sixth is your previous race winner Nathan Hudson, seventh is Jackie Tank, or um, yes, yeah, seventh is Jackie Tank, eighth is Zach Lickinger, ninth DJ Kurtz, we have top ten Michael Walton. Here's the rest of your starting lineup from 11th on back. So while we're here, we'll document the top ten in points. As they show, Joshua Osborne, Cody Lamas, Trent Dunham, Angel Navarro, and Ian Dutta, all those drivers right there, they have clinched a spot in the championship due to being mathematically in the points. And on the final row, we have uh, William Duncan and Devin Becker. And then the rest of the top ten goes as follows, which is, I get the right angle, here we go, uh, Quentin Moore, TJ Curtis, Jackie Tang, James Qualls, and Connor Meyer. Now, the current wildcard holders include the following. Jessica Shelton, who's 19th in points with her two wins. And where is he at here on the list? He's 37th in points with two wins. That would be Mason Powers, car number 41. Now, Powers, he looks like he's got the first spot locked up. And Shelton, looking where it's at. It is possible she could due to being about a total of 40-something points behind, but it just looks like it's not likely. So the wild card factor is out of the hunt. However, that does not mean that the battle for the top 10 could still come into play. Looking at the drivers that could get in, you got Quinn Spillman, uh, who's 11 points, a total of three back, and then you got Keith Batson, Zach Flickinger, Kyle Matthews, JT Bryant, John Art, Charles Samper, Sky Commons, Jessica Shelton, Emma Ross, Michael Wall, and those drivers there, they have a good shot. As there's the command given. Also, keep in mind, too, those drivers from more on down, they could fall out of the top 10 if they get a bad run. So, we'll see what happens. Good news, though, for some drivers like Ian Dunna. This is his last season, and he is managing to make the chase. So, that is a good thing. However, he still wants that win. So, we'll see what happens to that 32 team. They're running that Black Alpha Chevrolet for Tween X Racing. Of course, mentioning he is not coming back because he's retiring. Pace car down pit road. Five laps of action. We're about ready to turn him loose here at Thornton. Here we go. Green flag is out. We are underway for the regular season finale at Thornton. And the train goes through the field like it did in the Xfinity race. Oh, Nathan Hudson got really pinched. Here's some cars making some contact and stuff. Curtis was on the curb. I think we made it through. Yes, indeed, we did. There's two Chivers that are at least confirmed for the championship. Ian Dunn and Trent Dunn, they're the top two right now. Clint Spillman, who's 11th in the points. That was a great qualifying run that he needed. As long as he can finish well ahead of Meyer. He will be in. Bishop and Rogers are working underneath on the inside line. Let's actually find the 51 car, see where he's at. Not too far behind, so at least that's a good sign for Spillman, but don't forget that 51 could come out of nowhere and totally shock the field. Meyer looking to make the chase for the first time ever in his career. He's got a lot of work to do. Spicer drivers also that are trying to clinch. Where are they at right now? Where's Quentin Moore? He's in the rear of the field. I mean, let's put it like this. It's got to take a long shot for Moore really to not make the chase, but it's possible, though. DJ Curse, we already mentioned, he started in the top 10. Jackie Tang, there he is in the front of the field. Oh! Mason Powers! All the way in the grass. Oh, and they just wrecked Ferranti! And Seth Cole, which his season has been absolutely horrid. 
into the summer midseason. Oh, and Jessica Shelton in the O2. That's both the wild card holders. Now, another thing, too, is that for them, primarily Mason Powers, he cannot afford a repeat winner. If a repeat winner comes around, he will not make the chase. So that is something for Mason Powers. He cannot afford a repeat winner. Otherwise, well, he ain't going to be making the chase. I just want to double check with the points here. With the exception of Nathan Hudson. That is the only exception because he is so far back from Mason Powers. Like, it's not even funny. Ironic enough, here he is leading. That is a scary, scary sight. Dead last of the boy. Did one last week. Now trying to go two in a row. And that'd be huge. You want to know how bad Hudson had his first win, top five and top ten in the entire season. That is how bad of a season Powers has had, or uh, Hudson has had. Powers cannot afford that. Here comes Tang looking for his third win of the season, trying to go to the inside of Ian Dutta. Well, does looking for his first win. Oh, Spillman in the wall. That's going to be big right there for Meyer. Look at through those side by side between the Chevrolets, the Camaro on the high line, the SS on the inside. And we had one person fall off the turn to death yesterday, which was Scott Roush. Looks like Tang will hold on to the league coming to this corner right here. Then I'm gonna get the wall there. Bishop goes around right to Kyle Keith. Oh, and there's more cars involved. I think that was Finn guy I just seen right there. McCurry. Oh, Levi McIntyre. Brett Pritchard. Kate Anderson. There's Bishop. John Arnold also quite a ways back. Oh, and there goes JT. That's the hometown car that was running this race. And off he goes into the turn of death. I've never seen a car like that before, but he landed perfectly on four wheels. Regardless, he's done for the day. There's James Qualls. He's currently 23rd. That's ninth in the points right there. He cannot afford a bad run. The main thing is he's got to make sure he's ahead of some drivers like Spillman, Batson, and others. He's got Dylan Pote, a good friend of his, behind him. Meyer in 14th. However, Kyle Keith's got a bunch of front-end damage because of R.J. Bishop. And I don't think he's really going to hang on much there. Let's see, currently with Spillman where he's at. Wow, he'd be tied with Connor Meyer as we speak. If, if the way they two stayed the same. They would be tied for the position, but that's not going to last long because he's going to go to the outside of Kyle Keith, which I'm probably not surprised of. And he's obviously going to make the pass. Wow, three wide around the 42. They're trying to get around that target dodge right there. I don't know who at this point is going to probably feel the most pressure. I'd probably have to say Meyer out of everybody, but who knows what will happen here. Bang, though, with the lead, trying to hold off Ian Dutta. Dutta to the outside, though, will get the spot. Going to bring Nathan Hudson and Michael Walton along. Walton, your dates on a 500 winner. Really hasn't had a season to remember there. But don't forget, could play spoiler. JT Bryant, that's going to eliminate his chance in the battle for the championship. He's going to have to rely on that Chase LCQ. Will a 22 team. EJ Curtis, car number 15. Another driver who's won this season who's looking for something there. He won't be returning to the team next season, let alone Cup. He'll be in Xfinity probably next season if he signs up. But he is currently... 7th in the points. Averagey run. Kyle Keith continuing to slip back is the 42 target dodge. Not what he needed at all. However, it's helping James Qualls out in the process. Oh, Matthew's got the common corner panel there. 
will settle out for now at least. And Quentin Moore, 31st on the track. I don't know, don't look good. Oh wow, John R. quite a ways back. Same with Elijah Gilbert. Both of them must have come down pit road for uh, some reason there. But looking at the battle for the lead right here, or battle for the win rather, I should say. Ian Duddock, Michael Walton, Stephen Pollard the third, Nathan Hudson, Trent Dunham, Zach Rogers, Jackie Tang, and Zach Flickinger. Top eight are right there. Then you got ninth place, Angel Navarro. Top ten is Keith Batson. Batson also 12th in points uh, from where we're seeing in the uh, differential between him and Meyer. He's a total of 27 back. However, just with that run alone where Meyer's in, that's not helping Keith Batson. He needs to get up the front and try to lead a lap. That would be a big thing for him, but every, every key point matters there. But we'll see what happens. Ian Dutta, Michael Walton. Walton. We'll hold on off the corner there. These guys, they'll keep it fine off the turn. They're not going to hit that guardrail. Carter is, however. And they're going to keep it clean off this turn right here. But what about the turn of death? That's always uh, a big thing right there. Easy one right there. And here we go. Round two off the turn of death. JT Bryant fell off. Lap number one. Ooh, James Wall's got a little bit of a big run right there. And same for Moore, who almost fell off right there. And I just noticed car number 89 has got a little bit of damage. Look carefully when we go up to him. There he is. Take a look. Small buckle in the hood. Now these guys are trying to get through the courts in one piece there. Agent Navarro, car number 77. Curling ninth right now, having a not bad consistent year, a win, three top fives, seven top tens for that 77 team. It was announced uh, about a week or two ago, I want to say it was last week, Angel Navarro will not be returning to the Cup Series and will have his final run in the NRSL in the Xfinity Series, driving into number 23. And, uh, I believe D, uh, D. Walt, yep, D. Walt will be the sponsor of the car. So this is his last chance in the Cup Series to get the championship. Wow, Flickinger almost ran into Tang. That would have been big for that 18. That's 13th in the points. Oh, Osborne, the points leader. Oh, went off the courts a bit. Connor Meyer and Daniel Olsen trying to pass. Osborne looks like he's going to lose that spot. However, Meyer really didn't gain much there. He just kind of stayed the same. Back to the highway portion of the track we go. We're starting to see Navarro and Cody Lamas work their way up. Lamas making it in via by the win. Seven top fives and ten top tens. Uh, from what yep, from what we're seeing here, Osborne and Lamas are the only two drivers with ten top tens this entire season. It's unbelievable that they're able to do that. And, here the, and here's Lamas yet again looking for his 11th top 10 of the season. And look at this here. Pollard the third. Looking for that lead right there. Side by side they go. Looking through, though, you can tell them guys are still racing really, really good. And I'm telling you what, amazed that they're able to, though. Wow, Kyle Keith got passed by Quentin Moore, too. Didn't even see that. Sky Commons in that Rainbow Warrior Chevrolet. Looking underneath DJ Kurtz for position. He bring along Kyle Matthews. This is not good for 14th of the points right there. It looks like Matthews may have to rely on that Chase LCQ. 
in order to make the chase. I'll tell you one driver who's been really good in that chase LCQ, cube, but probably don't want to deal with it. That's this driver right here. Talk to James Qualls right here. That's probably one of the best drivers you can see that will be in that chase LCQ. cube. Oh, Meyer in the wall. Problems for 10th in points, Connor Meyer. That is really going to hurt Carter 51 big time. But back to where I was saying, James Qualls, He's been really good in that Chase LCQ, especially in this series. He really don't want to deal with it again. We'll have to turn Hudson in the wall. Same with Rogers. Who's starting to come into the mix? Jeffrey Finn guy, Carter 92. And getting ready to take the uh, turn of death for the third time this race. Are those guys are doing all right these guys who are carrying much more speed because my thing went off the church of there well wonderful I had it and I, I well, that's wonderful. I apologize for that, folks. My mouse is, uh, in a pain in the absolute rectum, if you know what I mean. Meyer, I'll tell you what, he's trying to make the chase for the first time in his career. It's not looking good. I'm going to try to see if I can get it again here. I guess this is good enough. I don't know. <laughs> Two laps to go, though, and Meyer in deep deep trouble, but this is big news for car number four, Clint Spillman. Just outside the top ten, but this is big what he needed. Patson really didn't want to see the four car there. Oh! Gun and gun to Rogers and they somehow kept it together. Oh, and two cars just went out. Oh, and Osborne and Olsen! Seen another car go off the course. Seen a white car. Oh, it's Dylan Poteet, the, the champion from last season, who his season has not been doing good at all. Shit. He just disappeared. Where's the 31? Where, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. For a minute, I thought he disappeared there. Osborne and Olsen are back out on the course. But however, it does not look good for Dylan Poteet. The problem is he'd have to find the opening in the guardrail and get on by, but I don't think that looks good for the champion. In the meantime, however, you can see Dunham's got a little bit of damage. He's probably not worried at this point because he's obviously in, so probably not too worried. Nathan Hudson, though, still trying to battle for that win. Ian Dutta, Michael Walton, Stephen Potter III, who's won this exact race before. And Zach Flickinger working their way through. Flickinger, that'd be big for that 18 there. Rogers, there he is. Flickinger, this would be big for him. I don't know if it would be enough to get into where Meyer's spot would be because if you notice between him and Meyer alone... Is a total of, if I can see this correctly here. See, Meyer's 71 back from the points leader. And just between him and Flickinger is at least 32 points. Like, Meyer would have to DNF at this point. And cars that are out already, Levi McIntyre, JT Bryant, and RJ Bishop all out of the race. Oops. You can tell I'm failing horribly. Flickinger, though, to the inside for third. Tutta on Walton for the lead. No real advantage between the two. Still side by side. And they're going. Tutta starting to fade because of his damage. That's really affecting him. 
James Qualls for where he's at. He looks like he may be good to go, especially with the fact that Meyer encountered trouble. Looks like he won't have to worry about that chase LCQ, but we still got one more lap to go here at Thornton. And for Meyer, you hope to God something happens. Oh, car round! It's Keith Batson and Zach Rogers. That's going to end Keith Batson's opportunity of making the champion or uh, making the chase via by this way here. He's going to have to rely on that chase LCQ. Rogers with heavy front end damage is the nine. One fell off the turn of death. That's a good sign right there. And these guys look like it'll be all right. White flag displayed, though, for the drivers. There's a train coming on through, and uh, Joshua Osborne just got lucky. He almost got hit by it. White flag displayed, though, for Michael Wallen, who led that lap. Holding off Nathan Hudson is the 99. And that is not good news if you're Jessica Shelton, or excuse me, Mason Powers, my apologies. Because remember, too, he's also returning at the end of the year, and that's the last car he wants to see win the race. He'd rather see Hudson, let alone even Pollard the third win the race. Basically, anybody but car number 99, because that's not who he needs. Hudson, reeled him in, though. This race is far from over. He's looking on the outside. Trying to look. Now he's going to look again. Not going to do it. A little bit of contact. And they keep it together. T look at Tang working on that outside. Whoa! He went way off the course. Done him last score at 11. He's getting reeled in by James Qualls and others. Yeah, Qualls looks like he's good to go. He's 12th last time by. And more, last score 24th. He basically it's safe to say he's gonna be making it into the chase. DJ Curtis probably the same for him. And the same can be definitely said for Jackie Tang. And James Qualls, but Connor Meyer does not look good for car number 51. Jessica Shelton. She looks like she's going to get in. That's the first wild card holder. It's going to come down to that second wild card spot. And also, here comes Walden, Nathan Hudson. Hudson to the inside of Michael Walton, who is still dead last in the points. Keep in mind, it's car number 11. That doesn't mean he is giving up without a fight to at least get a second win. In back-to-back -back races, this would be huge for car number 11 for Anime Racing. Or, excuse me, HRT, my apologies. Cars are damaged or way off the pace. There they are. Zach Rogers back out in the course. Brett Pritchard trying to find a way to get around not only his boss and co-owner. Boss and owner there, but also... Uh, Zach Rogers as well. Seth Cole, the same for him. Three car having way, way too much difficulty getting around both those drivers. And there's Dylan Pote trying to limp on by. Don't look good for him. Ferranti, Jessica Shelton, and John Art will pass him as well. Elijah Gilbert will do the same. Walton, though, holding off Zach Flickinger in the eight car, looking for his first win of the season. Next season, he announced he's going to leave the team and will go to his own team. Funded, though, by SKM. Walton in the 99. Trying to deny the fact that Powers will make the chase. Here comes Dunn on the inside, though. Here comes the 32. Dunn uh, still has not yet won in his farewell season. Here he comes on that inside line. Side by side they come, hanging in the turn. Walton gets a good run on the outside. That may have sealed it for Mason Powers to make the chase. But it can get one last chance. He's got to go now. Oh, Hudson all over his back bumper. 
And that's probably going to seal it right there. The Daytona 500 winner, Michael Wong, coming off the final turn. His season has been averaging, but coming down the front straight, he's going to deny Mason Powers on the wild card slot right there. And Michael Wong will make the chase. He wins it, Thornton. As far as who else makes the chase is to be determined. Congrats to Michael Walton on a big win right there. He is one of the drivers that is going to make the chase. Osborne will stay as the points leader. I believe after this race, it probably will not matter. Oh, well, he probably will be after altogether as we head to our first chase race, which will be at Orlando. Anderson just crossed the course right there. Powers, Rogers, Keith, Richard, and Seth Cole. Alex Ronti trying to do the same thing. Jessica Shelton quite a ways back, as too is John Art. Philipozzi did manage to get back on the course. That's a big break for him. Elijah Gilbert doing the same thing as well as Walton getting his victory lap going right now. But nonetheless, we will fast forward this and uh, make it official. And there it is, now official. Michael Walton will hold off Mason Powers on that last wildcard slot. Is actually, I believe, yeah, he will pass Jessica Shelton via by points. So Walton will get wildcard slot number one. Jessica Shelton will get wildcard slot number two. That was not what Mason Powers needed to see. And Powers, for the sake of his hope to at least keep his farewell season in check, he's got to be the top two in the Chase LCQ at Talladega. We are going to save this right now before something happens. And there it is. It is official. You see where it is right here? We're going to move this here so it's easier for me to see right here. But Michael Wallen will be victorious. Who gets in, though? Who doesn't? Top five, we already know. And we also know for a fact that Quentin Moore, PJ Curtis... James Qualls, they're going to get in. Connor Meyer, I think he's going to have to rely on that Chase LCQ. Clint Spillman may sneak in on that 10th spot right there. That's my top 10. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to give it a like, comment, your thoughts, and subscribe. Subscribe, be a part of the inner by hitting that subscribe button. Folks, what a great regular season it's been. We will see you next week for the biggest race for the non-chasers. Who will get in via by the Chase LCQ? Till then, this is your boy, D-Young, 867-539-858, signing out from Thornton, Illinois. If you like to be sure to give a like, comment your thoughts on this race. Subscribe by hitting that subscribe button, by hitting that subscribe button down below. We will see you guys later at Talladega. Till then, goodbye, everybody, from Thornton, Illinois. And one last thing, too. Here come the points after this race.